credit, the depositor insurance scheme is, is about the way forward now, right? Government cannot always step in to, to pay the depositor. I mean, if we are lucky and it's Father Christmas, fine. I mean, but ultimately, it is you and I who will bear the brunt, right? It is you and I who will bear the brunt. And so the depositor insurance scheme is becoming regular, and it's something that hopefully Ghana, we have the act now. I'm told that the, the preparatory work is on, and hopefully next year uh, it will come into operation. Then also the regulator in terms of splitting them, which side looks at capital requirements and risk, which, are, which side also focuses on, on the products. There is also the identification of those significant or systemat systemically important banks. It is important that we know that if this bank collapses, we would have more problems of, of, of that bank. And so then we, we elevate the supervision, we elevate the number of things that we require of that bank to ensure that they never collapse. Right? Then, then the ownership structure. Uh, uh, in, in the U.S. and in Nigeria, what they don't allow, for example, holding companies to own, non which are non, non bank to own banking institutions. US, UK takes a different view. But I think these are things that are coming up, and hopefully over the time, we would find out as to whether they have worked. Just look at its benefits. I mean, the, the, the key thing is not just to do a depositor insurance scheme. It's to make sure that it is at par with international standards. Right. I can, like I said, I gave, gave the example of the insurance. If I do a comprehensive insurance right now, I might have um, uh, excess, an excess. So if you have an accident, the insurance will say, I'll pay 90 and you pay 10%. However, I can also buy the excess as part of my premium. And so when the car touch, touch wood uh, 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 is, is damaged, all I do is to go for my whole amount. Right. And those are the best practices that the deposit insurance scheme brings. And we are hoping that Bank of Ghana will take a cue from that so that we are not limited to a, a maximum amount. So if, for example, I don't know the amount involved now, if, for example, the amount is, say, 1,000, and I deposit 10 million, and the company goes bust, you are telling me that I get 1,000. The person who deposits only 600 Ghana cities, there's no equity in there. And I think that Bank of Ghana should, should look, look at that. Then uh, uh, also identifying those banks that are crucial to our economy, right, so that we can elevate the, the, the regulatory requirements, the number of visits BSD makes to make sure that they are complying with uh, corporate governance rules, they are complying with uh, um, uh, regulatory reporting.